The remainder of our videos are going to focus on working with categorical data and also when we have a binary outcome or a dichotomous variable outcome like a uh, health stat such as sick or not sick or died or not died or has the characteristic or does not have the characteristic. So we're going to focus on chi-square analysis, Fisher exact test, and logistic regression. So in this particular video, we're going to start off with this eSig data set um, and we're going to double click on it and it's going to pull up the code for us to import it. We're going to go ahead and import this data set so we can work with it. Uh, I don't need that big combined one anymore. So it's went ahead and imported it. We've got our output data. Um, you know, we can look at it if you want. Um, so we've got a lot of the data that you're already somewhat familiar with. A lot of things coded as zero and one, you know, ever in a fraternity or sorority, no being zero, one being yes, ever in the military, no being zero, one being yes, having smoking parents, no being zero, one being yes, asthma, off campus, history of cancer in the family, e-cigarette use, etc. So you're familiar with that. So we have uh, the ability to use SAS for answering some questions. So say we are interested in whether or not there is a significant difference in the frequency of e-cigarette users among those in our general education classes at EKU um, from the year 2014 versus 2018. So how might we answer that? Was there an increase or not? And if so, was the increase significant? So we can definitely use logistic regression to answer that later on, but the simplest way of looking at it would be to do a t-test type analysis. So we've got these uh, options here related to uh, one-way frequencies. We also have table analysis. So let's click on one-way frequencies for now. So one-way frequencies, I'm going to hit plus. And then what were we talking about? Well, one, I have to be on the right data set. So we have to use the right data set. So I've got the new eSig data, which has been brought in as an import file. So I have to look and see. It was import four is what it's currently called. So um, I'm going to have to click on this and then find it. It's a work file, import four. All right. Now the analysis variables. Well, we're one interested in, let's say, e-cigarette use in the last 30 days. And then the other variable that we're interested in is the year. So those are there. I can look at options and have frequency tables with percentages and all that. And then statistics, I can have it do a chi-square goodness of fit test if I want or whatever. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now because table analysis might be more interesting for us. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Let's see what we get. So we get the total e-cigarette frequency for the entire um, group. We get the year. So we've got 773 people in the whole study who had never used e-cigarettes, 234 who have, but we have nothing about which year it is. And then we have 520 people who did our survey in 2014, 526 in 2018. That's really kind of it. So maybe we're interested in something more helpful. So let's look at table analysis. So table analysis, we can have rows and columns. So rows are things that go from left to right, and columns would be the ones from uh, yes and no. And usually columns are associated with disease or a risk factor if that risk factor is your outcome. So we're going to do for our, our rows, we're going to have the year, and then for the columns, we're going to have e-cigarette 30 days. And then for our options, we can put percentage in each cell, which isn't very helpful, but percentages in rows and columns may be helpful. And um, I'm going to leave those off, and then we can do various statistics. Chi-square, we can even have it develop an odds ratio for us. 
Um, the Cochrane Mantle Hensel ones would probably do the same, do something similar, but but uh, odds ratios, chi square stats. We'll turn on exact test just so you can see it, um, and we'll go ahead and run it. Well, let's see what we get. So I'm going to zoom in for our table. You know, we've got multiple percentages. The first one is row percentage going this way, left to right. The 81.58 and the 1842 add up to 100%. So that is kind of like by year. Up and down, zero and one for the these are our column percentages. So 53.30 and 46.70 add up to one. 39.74 and 60.26 add up to one. So let's think through this really quickly. So 412 represents 81.58% of 2014 and 93 represents 18.42. So this tells us that 18.42% of the people in 2014 used e-cigarettes and then in 2018, 28% of the people in 2018 had used e-cigarettes in the last 30 days. So about a 10% or nine point, I don't know, almost, it's about 10, nine to 10 percent increase. And then we've also got these figures here that may not be of, of much utility. We've now got the various types of tests. There are the traditional chi-square tests continuity adjusted chi-square test as well. All those are about the same. So just chi-square p-value is 0 0.003. The likelihood ratio one is same thing. If we had a data set with infrequent observations, um, one of these cells or more than 20% of the cells had less than five observations, we may want to use the Fisher exact test. And um, the Fisher exact test, probably not appropriate here, but we do see the p-values also indicating significant difference in the usage of e-cigarette by year. We also have the odds ratios that are provided here. Um, and the odds ratios are uh, 1.73 for the estimate with the range going from 1.28 to 2.32. So this is a simple odds ratio. So very easy to do. Um, there are other things we could turn on, but uh, you know, pretty simple approach uh, with SAS Studio for being able to do your two by two table. So we could switch this, we could look at a different effect, and I'll let you guys explore that a little bit more. So that's all for this video on the Chi-Square and Fisher Exact Test Analysis uh, through SAS Studio.